So let's okay. carry the uh, whole blame game topic to the curvy couch here because, uh, let's face it, the Republicans and Democrats did what they're fantastically and super good at over the weekend. Yes, what did they do? They blamed each other. Here it is. I believe this is, without question, the Tea Party downgrade. This is the Tea Party downgrade because a minority of people in the House of Representatives uh, countered even the will of many Republicans in the United States Senate who were prepared to do a bigger deal. There is dysfunction in our system, and a lot of it has to do with the failure of the President of the United States to lead. I would remind you that Republicans control one-third of the government. The, the Senate and the presidency are controlled by the Democrats. And the fa fact is that the president never came forward with a plan. Yeah, uh, that's something that Lindsey Graham was talking about, uh, the uh, Republican from South Carolina yesterday on one of the chat shows. He, he said, look, the, the president never had any policies that really addressed the issue. Uh, one quotation he said was, if he were in the Southeastern Conference, he would be fired as a coach. He would not have his contract renewed. Right. You know, also very important, a couple of weeks ago, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who heads the DNC, said, you know, it's our economy now. A couple of months the ago, Democrats. the Democrats, right. The, the, a couple of months ago, Obama said, it's my economy now. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It's your downgrade now, too, you guys. You can't point your finger at the, at the Tea Party or, or the Republicans. This is all on them. They, they wanted it. They got oh, it. Oh, I heard them blame well, that, that's, but, that, right. but that's an opinion. And you can tell by listening to the people that they put out, not the president over the weekend, by the way. He has not officially made a statement. But the people that the administration put out to do the talking points, that was, that was the number one talking point. Tea Party sure. downgrade. And, you know, the more you say it, do people believe it more? Does the president really have to come out and say anything? Or can he just have people say that? Because there's been so much discussion about the Tea Party and the whole debt ceiling issue. Does that stick? Let us know what you think. Well, let me do this then. You, they want to go ahead and say Tea Party downgrade. I'm going to go ahead and call it what it is. It's an Obamanomics downgrade. End of story, period. This is on them. Hold on a second. We're hearing from Cokie Roberts. Uh, okay, we're going to hop in the Wayback Machine to just about uh, 22 hours ago. She doesn't blame the president. She doesn't blame the Tea Party. She doesn't blame Bush. Koki blames the Constitution, darn it. And the problem that we have here is the Constitution of the United States of America, uh, which actually does require people to come together from different perspectives, rather whether it's divided government or not. We have divided branches of government under any circumstance. Isn't that what makes us America? Well, that little thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's constitutional. Uh, it, you saw George Will there. He, that was the back of his head. He was going like this. Uh, anyone who is a, a big believer in the Constitution pretty much fainted after that particular part of the conversation. That's yeah. it.